just a reminder for myself for tonight that this way is based on love and based on the hadith of you be with whom you love. Be with whom you love and the one that you love from these servants of Allah they take you wherever they go, that they take you within their heart because they move and operate by their heart and their heart is a Divinely Presence, it's the house of Allah that our life is to enter into the house of Allah not the Kaaba, you're making tawaf around the Kaaba. From A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Razeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum, Ana Abdukul Ajeezu Ta'eefu, Miskeen, Zalim, Jahanim, but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. That Allah asks us to go for Hajj. Baytullah, it's an imitated hajj. From all the teachings we bring them back into our lives that when we're going for hajj, awliyaullah teaching is an imitated hajj. You haven't really done the real hajj. That imitation of, of labaik that I heard, Ya Rabbi I came is imitated until you understood and until we understood that that house of Allah is the heart of His believers. The Kaaba is what you made with your hands. It didn't just appear, somebody put a whole bunch of bricks together. But what Allah made is you and He blew from His Spirit into you. Your heart is holier than the stones that people put together if it achieves what Allah wanted it to achieve. So these only Allah, their hearts are like Kaabas, Baytullah that Allah says, within their heart are Nabi'een, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin and Allah with them, this is the best of company. It's a living Kaaba and wherever it goes it's a Qibla in which people find their deen, find their belief, find their love for Allah love for Sayyidina Muhammad just by looking at them, accompanying them, being with them. So our life was how to enter into the Kaaba, the living Kaaba. Not say, I want to save only $20,000 one time in my life when I'm old and I've done many sins, at the end I'm going to go fly there and everything will be clean, finished and it's over. This is different level of people but the schools of, of excellence and moral excellence, they're teaching, no, no, this is an imitated Kaaba. What Allah want you to understand is go to the real Kaabas, the living Kaabas of Allah and make a life in which you want to enter into the Kaaba. Not only I want to always be around these Kaabas, these holy people, but Ya Rabbi make me of something that I enter into that house. And Prophet gave us the easiest way and that's why that hadith was so powerful that my amal never going to be like Sayyidina, <coughs> Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq, Sayyidina Umar, Sayyidina Uthman. Imam Ali Salam, our amal and actions will never be like them. How can I ever even think to be with them if I'm coming through actions? And Sayyidina Muhammad then gave, you'll be with whom you love. If you love them, you'll be with them. And not by love because we have people on internet thousands and tens of thousands around the world watch the broadcast and rebroadcast and all of the different media. And Allah through this holy hadith of Prophet is giving that, enter into the house, 
enter into the house of Allah And all the realities that contained within that house is that you have to love them. This way is then built on love and muhabbat. Not built on rules and harshness that if you become hard with people that they'll somehow listen to you and follow rules. They don't follow Allah's rules, why would they follow your rules? Allah asked them to pray, they're not praying. Prophet asked them to do, they're not doing. Who do you think that they're going to listen to you? So that means the guidance and guides, uh, real guides, there are some other types of guides. But these real awliya and real guidance, they understood, no, nobody was supposed to listen to us. They were supposed to love us. Make your way and drop your wing and that's why Prophet said, address everyone at their level. Don't make it hard that you're superior, you're so clean, you're so perfected, you're so amazing and everybody else is bad. But lower yourself like them, be like them, be down to earth and open a gate of muhabbat and love so that people can feel attracted to you, they feel familiarity with you, they feel a, a, a softness in their heart for you. And with that love and with that mu muhabbat like now a magnet that you feel a magnetism towards that person and their juzba and their energy will begin to attract you. Attract you in the sense that, I, I like the way you talk, I like the way you teach, I like the teachings that you're dispensing. And that's all they needed, all they needed was that muhabbat. That if with a gentle tongue and kind actions and kind character, giving people appropriate attention, giving them a sense of, of importance that people will begin to love, they'll give their heart to that reality. And now they have a chance in entering into the house of Allah and this is the greatest gift that Allah can give. That you can enter into the house of Allah Qalb al-Mu'min Baytullah. If you should for some reason attach your heart to a mu'min who's one of those realities, your soul is now entering into their heart, their heart, their heart the house of Allah which in that house the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad presence of the holy companion, presence of the Ahlul Bayt, presence of Salihin because they love all the awliya from heavens to the earth and those awliya Allah love them and Allah with them. So it means that, that why don't you enter into their home, into their heart and into their reality. Then they teach the, the talk for tonight is they say that, I love them but they're asking then be of service. It's not love that you just say, oh I love, I love you guys very much, you this is great, I love you. They teach, no, no, make your love to be real. Real love is a khidmat. Real love is in which you feel, I have to do something for this love and this love has to manifest and the whole of the real way is based on khidmat. So you'll see the real awliya. All their people are of service, whether their parents like it or not, whether people around them like it or not, they don't care. They only care what Allah wants. Is that when you come, it's of a khidmat. As soon as you're of service with what? With your ability, with your skills, with what Allah has given to you, with your rizq, with your sustenance, whatever Allah has given to you, you put on the table and said, I want to be of service. 
I want to show my love for you and this way, this love for Sayyidina Muhammad that khidmat opens Allah's rahmat. Why they said khidmat, service, opens rahmat? Because it means it opens the presence of Prophet Wasallam's nazar. We have people now transcribing articles in Urdu. They're putting out almost a lecture a day coming out with thousands of hits. Means this now is propagating all through the Urdu language all over the world. This Naqshbandi haqqaiq is different than what the ulama there teach. And I know because of the different students we have, they don't have that understanding. But because of this khidmat, these articles are now moving out, moving out. So the example, when somebody says that they love your way, it's not a personal love. This is a love for the way, love for Prophet I love your school, I want to be a part of this school. As soon as they're of service, they're putting where their money where their mouth is, they're putting their, their service to that love. No doubt it builds a bond within the heart and the soul of that shaykh. He feels responsible that they're spending their time writing, teaching, doing whatever the service is, cleaning, taking care of the house of Allah Allah We have books, we have articles, we have web, we have internet, we have media divisions, we have a, a center, we have all these ways of being of service. <coughs> as soon as a person's of service that energy enters into the heart of the shaykh and the shaykh has to present that service to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And that is the bond and the reality of love. They don't come to take from shaykhs. The buyer was not, I'm going to come and take buyer from you, give me your money, give me this, give me that. No, no, they're going to take everything from you. And that's what Allah says in the Qur'an, make your bargain now. They're going to take your dunya and they're going to give you akhirah in exchange. They take your dunya and they make circles of paradise. Everywhere they go becomes a circle of paradise. They propagate the Muhammadan haqqaiqs which are the highest haqqaiqs that Allah has upon this earth. So they take from you your iron and they're the alchemists. They take your iron and make it into something immensely golden and rewarded by Allah in which it becomes a sadaqa jariyah eternally for you. The support you gave, the time you gave, the effort you gave is now propagating and giving for your soul eternally. Anyone who gave for these centers, as soon as somebody's eating here, doing zikr here, praying here is dressing their soul. Anybody who helped to transcribe any of these books, any of these articles, Anybody giving on a monthly basis and propagating a whole media division and, and TV show and, and broadcast going around the world. Everything that's being supported, everything that's being done is eternally being dressed upon everyone. So that's why the khidmat opens rahmat. Is that when we want to say that, I want to enter into this house of Allah and they said the easiest formula is to try to be of service. And you find how difficult it is to be of service. Somebody thinks it's something easy, it's not easy because as soon as your ego says, I want to serve, the next day your ego will not let you. So, no, it can't do it. And that is the whole key of our way. Whatever Allah gave you of an ability, a skill, a life understanding, why did He give it to you? Why did He give you your degree? You thought you to buy cars and, and to buy homes? No, nope. that was plundering, that's a thief. When they take what Allah gave to them and thought it's for them, say, no it's not for you. You were supposed to be of service to Allah Take what you want to eat and feed your family, alhamdulillah no problem. 
Where's Allah's share? In your time and in your effort and in your skills. Imagine how strong a community would be if all of its professionals were professionally involved, if all of its people were financially involved, if everybody was of service. Some people think there's a service class of people that me, no I, I sit and I'm a fancy person and I don't help to clean downstairs, I don't help to put food out, I don't help to take care of… who, who takes care of here? We don't have a janitorial company that comes, there's nobody on a payroll. These are all sincere servants of Allah They serve, they serve the center. The center is like a flag. If nobody's here I make sure that the center's staying. They come and they serve, they, they make sure the operations are working, they make sure the food is, is, is flowing and this is the rahmah. This service that we all do, it makes us enter into their hearts, makes us enter into this house of Allah where wherever we went on this ziyarat, where if the physical world was rude to us, the spiritual world was immensely open to us. Every maqam was… came alive, every maqam we visited was fully alive in our presence. Means all in the maqam came out to greet and that's not by bragging, that was the proof of my shaykh's teaching. If you lived a life of service do you think Allah was not going to take and greet and give back your service? Because you're a servant of Allah that you came to see us, of course we recognize what you did. Physical world there may be jealous and rude people that you meet. But we don't do what we do for physical people. You ask the gentleman who traveled, every maqam was beautific and immense. That from outside the maqams we would stop and recite and the inhabitants of the maqam were coming out to greet everyone. And everybody was feeling the spiritual experience, even strangers on the outside sitting next to us on the bench were crying. And they weren't even with us. That was the hadith that when the angel said, but they're making zikr Ya Rabbi but there's one who's not from them, it was some lady from a shop, she was just there standing and she's crying in our circle of our praisings. This is the hadith, Allah wants to know, this is all real. She in one second sat next to people who were sincere and they were being greeted by the inhabitants of the maqams. And anyone who was of service, watching, present, they're all in the heart of the shaykh. They come like on a… the, sh the, sh the hearts of the shaykhs are like a ship, that all the souls are on their heart. Everywhere they go, they go on behalf of themselves, their family, their children and their extended community because he's not there by himself. They're not happy with the shaykh because he's a shaykh. They're happy saying that all these people who are doing these acts of love for this reality, we acknowledge your love. And from what Allah gave to us we're now dressing you, you being the entire you, not the you of just you're, you're the, the popular personality but the you that encompasses all those who love you and are of service with you, do their da'wah with you, give and contribute with you, we accept and we give you that dressing and that blessing. The one that represents many. Not everybody can physically always come and attend but it doesn't make a difference for Allah When you're sitting and sweeping here you don't think Allah's dressing your soul there? Of course, your atoms are all in their heart, filled and bonded not by our aqal and our maghs. I think I like I think I like you Shaykh, I think I'm trying really hard on my brain to think I like you. No, but he knows that your love is sincere, your efforts are sincere, your love has bonded into his heart. A bond that doesn't break, it's bonded there and not by his ego and not by his brain but by the sincerity and the purity of love, that your love attaches to their soul. And that sincere being goes in front of those maqams. 
I'm here on behalf of many, many who are suffering, many who are in difficulty, many who are struggling just to find a sense of, of, of hope and faith in a faithless and dark world filled with difficulty, children sick, wives sick, husbands sick, whatever the condition was, it's one who represents many and ask, please grant us a shifa. Please grant us a hope, please grant us a difficulty, please grant us an opening. Open your borders, open your difficulties, take away all sorts of problems. And every one of the maqams that we went, all of them were greeting. And the only reason to say this is not for a bragging but to show you their life system works if you work it. Their life system works in which they lived a life of service. They try every day to be of service, every day to be of service, every day to have the best of characters and the best of manners. This life of ours is based on good character, not what you know but how you use what you know. What's the purpose of all that you think you know, so this is a hidden one, this is not a hidden one. If all that you think you know and you don't have good manners, what was the purpose of that knowledge? So the whole reality was that to have an immense knowledge but you should have used it with good character, humble character, loving character, inviting character. We pray that Allah inspire us towards goodness and khidmat and that this khidmat opens up immense, immense blessings and these blessings are for all our community. Not one, not one person left behind other than one whom wanted to be left behind. Everyone who came with love and sincerity, everyone who serves or tries to serve or puts some effort towards it, they've made a bond. That ship goes fully loaded into that presence continuously praying and asking for relief, for difficulties to be taken, for lights and blessings to be dressed. and. This earth, we can't imagine what type of difficulties are coming upon this earth in which Allah inspires to go to these maqams to take their dress and their blessings as a protection for what's coming upon the earth. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa basira Surat al Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings, and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.